Hello, it's Aiden here. In this video, I want to show you how to make a squeeze page or opt in form page or landing page, uh, whatever you want to call them. Um, it, I use InstaBuilder. All you do is install it onto WordPress. Um, there's a few settings that you need to do, um, which is straightforward. And then when you go to add a new page or new post, you'll see there's a, a new uh, a few things that have changed. You've got this uh, drop down menu here from InstaBuilder. With loads of different options of adding videos, changing them into columns, adding buttons where you can put your own text in, boxes, pop-ups, uh, countdowns, and uh, where you can add your extra opt-in forms. Um, also you got the graphics here, so I'll just show you we've got a few different graphics. There's the, the normal ones you get where it's uh, sign up now, download now, um, so I'm just going to show you a few random ones um, one time off uh, so let's insert that graphic most of them are just text um, but they are pretty cool um, if you don't like them that's fine you can always upload your own and you can you know you create your own uh, gallery of uh, images that you want to use on your own opt-in forms with your logos on or whatever so um, I'll just put that one on for now and then let's just say just to show you how easy it is um, let's just choose that one put that in the middle as well uh, and what is quite cool it adds dimensions to your page is to add di dividers so I saw a divider up here yep so let's add a divider uh, and then Say you want to add a YouTube video, just click on YouTube and then replace the X's here with, uh, I'll just pick this YouTube video at random and you just want this bit here after equals which is also the bit here in the short URL. Um, so you want to paste that into there. Uh, so you got YouTube video there. Let's put a bit of text in and let's put it in a box to make it a bit more interesting. So featured box in red. And then see so content goes here. You want to delete that. And I'm just going to pick some random text from this video I was just working on. So let's. and bullet points also look good on a capture page and obviously you need to text, change this bit here because that's the title for this box um, uh, let's put a how about a uh, countdown so let's put a countdown here as well and then another divider Let's pick a smaller one and then finally um, I don't know uh, download now well you got let's put an opt-in form with the opt-in form you got to make sure that you have um, put in your code below um, below where you put the content in you'll see enable InstaBuilder, make sure you tick that box or else it's just going to look like a paste or a page a post or a page on your website whereas if you tick that it's just a pure landing page go to opt-in make sure you put in the code from your autoresponder get response and Aweber are best when you go to publish on both of them you'll find the code there all you need to do is just copy that and paste it into InstaBuilder here doesn't matter about your design when you did the, the opt-in form um, because none of that matters what matters is you just put it in here and then um, you've got the uh, you change the text here get free stuff now 
or instant access to a PDF or get on our list for coupon codes, whatever you want to do with opt-in form for. There's loads of different options as well. You've got the Facebook Connect as well. I'm just go through here. I'm just showing you the very basic of what, what you can do with uh, InstaBuilder. Um, so I've added an opt-in form at the bottom here, but also because I'm using it as a squeeze page, you will get an opt-in form on the right of the page as well. So squeeze page, you can use uh, different types of video page, product, la pa product launch page, and you've got different styles as well. Um, so we're going to use, uh, let's use cloud, nothing too uh, uh, bright or um, off-putting. I'm going to leave it blue, but you've you got different colors here as well. Uh, change of favicom. Here's where your first title goes as well. So it's not in the content bit above, it's just here. So let's see what that looks like. If we go to preview, we'll open a new window, new tab. So we've got the cloud effect in the background here. Got the opt in form on the side, which is uh, generic because it's uh, um, on the squeeze page. Limited time offer, got your dividers there, the future, uh, feature box, um, get free stuff now. So you got the opt-in form at the bottom as well. You got a, a couple plugins here that um, you would need to deactivate because they are interfering with InstaBuilder. There's also this LinkedIn button I noticed here. Um, so I'd deactivate that plugin. Unless you want to leave it on there, that's fine. Um, so that's how to build a opt in put uh, a squeeze page landing page with instabuilder very quick very easy i'm just going to quickly show you um, so i'm going to show you a different type of style let's go for industry let's see what that one looks like preview and it'll change it on this tab here Um, yeah, if you like that kind of thing, and um, it's got all this stuff on the side. It's quite nice black, but um, you, you can change the settings of all of this. So, so that's how to make a very quick and easy opt-in form, uh, opt-in page, squeeze page, landing page. Thank you very much. Bye.